don't just rely on emails. I've got uh, Australian colleagues coming back to me and say, why I never hear from my um, uh, Chinese colleagues? Well, the reason is Chinese people do not rely on emails or do not, do not check emails as often as we do. Like in Australia, we send an email and you're expecting a reply within the, uh, a day or two. But in China, it could be 10 days or it could be never uh, because Chinese people actually use other uh, technologies uh, for their communication, e uh, either for work or for uh, personal life. For example, uh, QQ is actually used a lot by uh, uh, of, uh, offices or people in an office or in an organization, even in government agencies, where they send out uh, notices through uh, QQ, like in a kind of a, a, a circle, uh, that's what they call it, and uh, so that people get this instant message right away and then they reply to you. And or some uh, government agencies, they have their own uh, Weibo uh, account. Uh, which they use to make announcements. Uh, for example, CCTV, the biggest China uh, uh, TV station, they use that to make announcements. And also recently, from uh, the beginning of last year, WeChat actually has become very popular. So you could, uh, well, for example, uh, I've got 10 people in this project. I can include them all in this um, uh, circle or discussion group. And then I can send out um, uh, messages to them right away and discuss, um, well, issues or possibilities. And actually, you can get the reply right away or even within 10 minutes. Well, actually, um, uh, I've got a, a story here. Uh, once an uh, Australian colleague came back to me and said, Julia, can you help me with this situation? They were actually trying to contact a Chinese partner uh, and uh, what well, they have been trying to do it for ages, but have never really got a reply from them. So she came to me and said, could you please uh, contact them? So I actually, uh, well, instead of uh, uh, sending an email, I actually just uh, first to call them because I didn't know them. So like just to, you know, inquire what the situation is. And, um, and later, you know, I was trying to build up this um, relationship and also trying to use different um, uh, means uh, or uh, ways to contact them. And uh, now actually I have their QQ and I also have their WeChat. And uh, so what I actually do is to, uh, you know, like send them an, e uh, send them an email and, and also uh, send them a message uh, by WeChat and say, hey, I've just, you know, sent this email to you and this is about A and B and C and I'll need uh, your reply by this date. Could you please uh, have a look? And normally they would either just reply to me uh, uh, right away uh, with uh, an answer, an oral reply, or they will just acknowledge that they get this message and they will check their email right away for this, inform, uh, for this very important information. So my suggestion would be, uh, well, you still might need to send emails to formalize you know, ideas or, or, you know, or just to keep it as a record of your communication, but also do please uh, investigate what your partner are using and also inform them through the other way so that they can get your uh, messages right away and uh, the communication actually in this way will be more smooth.